Today I'm joined by the CEO and founder, and who I understand to be the driving force behind Treasury One, Henny de Clark. Thank you very much for joining me. Good morning. So obviously you've been here from the start. Yes. What is Treasury One and what about? Yeah, I founded a business in 2000 and uh, I've always had this ambition to be an entrepreneur. Up until that point, I was at Sassel, I was a chief dealer for Sassel. And I got to the point that they say all these things that I'm experiencing at Sassel, being their chief dealer, having access to their systems, having access to their economists and their people and their processes. You know, the vision was always when I left Sassel and I started Treasury One, is to create a similar organization. So Treasury One is built on the principle of unlocking value. So I've always said when we get involved with a client, we are built, our DNA is to unlock value. So when we get involved with a client and we get involved with their treasury, we're looking for where we can add value, where we can unlock value. And those are two components. There's an adding value and there's an unlocking value. But that's where the name Treasury One says treasury, that's our sandpit, that's where we play everything around treasury. Cash flow, forecasting, cash visibility, cash management, FX, edging, everything around payments, you know, treasury, that's our game. And the one was always, you know, when I started the business, you know, 24 years ago, and I said, one, you want to be, you know, number one in our field. We've got great skills. We've got great people that are well-educated. We understand treasury. You know, we've got good technology. So it's a combination. I call it, you know, magic triangle. You know, in the middle of the triangle, we say we want to unlock value. But our unlocking value is based on people, that we've got great people. Then we've got great technology. And the third element of the triangle is great service. You know, and if I put those together and we wrap that around our client, then the unlocking value is what we get. But fundamentally, we are a value business. We're there to optimize the company's flows. We, we can never be the big corporate, but we like the, maybe the Red Bull. You know, we add that element where we can optimize the flows in the field. And that's, that's the vision. And it's, you know, we're continuous building on to make Treasury One continuous value adding player for our clients. You mentioned now great service and now anyone who works in the services industry know that you're bound to run into some client concerns at some point in time. So how does Treasury One approach these concerns? When it comes to Treasury, Treasury is a very specialized field in any corporate. Spe treasury is not finance. Finance is debits and credits and accounting. Treasury is all about the money circulating through the business. And the one thing about treasury is what we say, the time value of money. Where does the money spend time? Am I optimizing the risk? Is the money earning the optimal interest? So, it, and that all comes down to economies of scale. So we can give a client economies of scale, meaning we've got a staff complement of 65 people. So all my people are trained up and they, so I've got a lot of backup. You know, if one individual leaves, I've got two or three in their place. So any client that, on, that we on board, we can give him that consistency the people are well educated, they know what they're talking about because also what's great from a Treasury One perspective and from a client perspective when they join us is that we have so many different clients in so many different industries. But remember, the basics are the same. Cash is cash, visibility is visibility, cash flow forecasting is cash flow forecasting, FX is FX, doesn't matter the industry. Those principles that sit that's in a Treasury are always the same. So we can take any client and we can apply those principles. Therefore, we can give them that economies of scale. And like I said, almost sweet asset, if I can put it differently, you know, giving more bang for his buck um, in a treasury environment. That's really, maybe that's what it's all about. We are a bang for your buck business. Yeah. Now, becoming an industry giant like Treasury One is, it, it never comes without challenges. So what are some of the challenges that you face on this road with Treasury One? Well, it's nice to be called a giant, you know. So. <laughs> Yeah, now I think, you know, after 24 years, we've seen it all, you know, from I think the biggest challenge is when you were small, when Treasury One was small, is to grow, to get economies of scale, what I talk about. You know, it's probably the most difficult thing when you're a small business to get good people to join you because who wants to, who wants to join a one or two or three man band business, you know, because it's very limited career aspirations, financial instability and so forth. So over the past year, that was our biggest challenge is getting good people. Now that we're 65, you know, we attract good talent. We've got a graduate program and we've got, because we have these different departments, we can train the people well up and we've got a, like I said, a very diverse client base. So any person that joins Treasury One, I can expose him to the world of Treasury quite quickly and really, you know, lift his game and then really expose him to all the different sides of Treasury. And then the other big challenge is always technology because it's such a fast changing environment. 
from a technology perspective. And technology is extremely expensive, especially in a treasury field, because it's so specialized. And it's usually a small department in a big organization that uses a treasury management system. So you really got to have the right treasury management system to be able to do all the processes. And like I said, they're expensive and they're expensive to maintain, they're expensive to implement. But yeah, that was part of our challenges over the last years. It's like mainly getting good people and keeping good people and then getting good technology and continuously look for new technology and looking for how can technology enhance our business case with our clients. Well, you clearly found good people because Treasury One success won't be possible without a great team. So how would you describe your company culture? Yeah, I think I would say more fun, you know, work hard, play hard kind of stuff. You know, it, it's a nice environment to work. You know, I'm, I'm a strong believer that we spend more time here than we spend with our loved ones. You know, so, you know, try and make your people your loved ones, you know, to have good relationship with your colleagues and your employees and vice versa. This must be a fun environment. You know, I want people to enjoy when they come to work. When you wake up in the morning, it mustn't be, ah, oh, it's Monday, you know, it's like the worst day of the week. So it must be fun, come and work here, you know, and we really want people to learn, you know, uh, and to further educate themselves and to further improve. But I think at the end of the day, it's like any person, when you achieve something, that's what you, you know, life is about achieving something. And, you know, to have a nice working environment, that's probably what it's about, is that we enable you to achieve stuff um, over those years. Any of you guys have been around for 24 years, I'm pretty sure you're gonna be around for many years to come. So clients, both existing and new clients, what can they expect from Treasury One going forward? Yeah, that I've got this, you know, vision and passion about always reinventing ourselves, you know, and always looking for, um, you know, I'm excited about technology. I love technology and how can technology continuously enhance what we do. Uh, obviously, from a people perspective, you know, I love the people that works for me and that work with me and to continuously educate me. So if there's one thing a client will always get from us is that we sort of always want to upset the status quo. We'll always look, how can we do something better? And how can we show the client how we think it can be done better? So the most, it's like I'm joking to say, I'm the Gordon Ramsay. You know, I come to your kitchen and I can immediately, but well, I've got years of experience of being a great chef. Yeah. So I can immediately walk in and it's like that hell's kitchen stories, <laughs> you know, that, 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 that you see from Gordon Ramsay. He walks in, he can immediately see all the things that's wrong. And he can immediately show the owner of that restaurant, do this, do that, you know. And, and remember Gordon Ramsay, is exposed to so many things okay, based on him. And I think, you know, I'm not Gordon Ramsay, but I like to see myself in that, in that environment. So that's what clients can get from us. We've got that passion to improve things. Well, the Gordon Ramsay for Treasuries. That's it. Uh, any good luck with the road ahead. And thank you very much for chatting with me. For all the latest updates, you can check out Treasury One's website as well as their social media. Thanks for joining us.